Hi, air signs. So you're all going to get your individual love reading for couples for February in this reading. So if I can figure out how to do it, I'll timestamp in the description box where each one starts. We're going to start with Libra, then Gemini, then Aquarius. Okay, so let's get started. In February, what kind of energy are you putting out into the relationship? And they're like, for Libra, you know what? You're just kind of looking around like there might be other options out there. Your partner's not necessarily your focus, and they're getting a little bit concerned about that. Um, what are your challenges? And the challenges are to just like kind of embrace it and understand that you're lucky with what you have right now. Like for whatever reason, even if they're not like your perfect match, they're bringing you good luck. And so then, you know, do you hold on to them? Do you not? And they're like, now is not the time to decide on that. So what are your steps kind of through these challenges in the month of February? And they're like, just be patient and wait and see if something grows out of it. They say, like, you don't really want to be single anyway, so you might as well stay coupled. You might as well stay partnered. Um, they're saying, like, you know, this luck and stuff like that, it probably doesn't have very much to do with work or finance or day-to-day -day life, but, but maybe they'll put you into connection with somebody who ends up to be your best friend down the road or... Um, who knows? Maybe you go gambling together and you win a bunch of money. But the point is, is you're going to be happy that you waited for one reason or another if you're coupled um, in the month of February. Now, obviously, this probably doesn't apply to those of you who have been in longer term relationships. So let's just see what's going on with that. And they're saying um, that you just might not be feeling super enthused, super confident, but you are focused on the good points of your relationship, so that's a really good thing. What are the challenges that you'll be facing in February, Libras, who are in longer-term relationships? And again, it's that same element of patience and just waiting and seeing how things go. Maybe you're looking for a longer like a more secure commitment. Maybe you've been in a relationship for 10 years, but they still haven't put a ring on it. Like that kind of an energy, okay? So what are the steps through it? And they say you just have to be really excited and enthusiastic and kind of take action. And also you have to be like a little bit more um, sexual in the month of February um, in order to make your partner feel secure. Maybe their love language is physical touch. So what it's saying is don't worry about, you know, 20, 30 years down the road. Try to live a little bit more in the moment in the month of February. You can worry about that shit in March. <laughs> okay. So um, what should you be focusing on, Libras? And they're like... Okay, so focus on the fact that your feelings aren't crazy. You're not wrong. Your feelings are, are accurate. Like you're, you're navigating everything that you're feeling about your relationship accurately in the month of February. And things are different than they were in the past. They just are. Um, so is there any guidance? in regards to that, aside from being patient. And they're like, just really focus on the things that are good and what your ultimate goal or focus is in the relationship. Looking at Geminis. Couple Geminis in February. What kind of energy are you putting out? You are putting out focus and you're putting out this romantic kind of energy that you're very loving, that you want to give love, that you want to show love. Um, and it's kind of like going back to love languages again, but it's kind of like acts of service kind of love language, doing things for your partner to make their life easier so that they feel very loved by you. So that's cute. What are your challenges? Um, to make sure that you're seeing everything is fair. So I guess I would ask myself, why am I doing these things? Am I doing these things because I truly love my partner and I want to make their life easier or because I want them to do something for me, right? You got to look at your motivation. Um, the steps through it, Keep working hard. <laughs> Don't give up. You will see positive changes to your relationship and try to get a little bit more rest because you might be coming out a little bit crabby um, to your partner without even realizing it. You might be a little bit short, shorter fused than you know. So your area of focus is just to be really optimistic and hopeful, almost childlike, trying new things, um, having a good time, you know, really embracing the moment again, kind of like Libra. So air signs have something in common. Looking at Aquarius, what kind of energy are you putting out into your relationship in the month of February? Oh, so you're embracing this a little bit easier than um, Libra and Gemini, and Gemini are. You're very childlike. You're having a good time. You're being mindful. You're being... You're, sorry about all that noise. My kitten just tried to jump on my desk here and fell. I hope she's okay. 
you okay, mamas? She looks all right. She's not dead. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so, so you're having a good time. You're very enthused, you know, like the relationship is good. It's happy. Nothing really to worry about there. Now, um, I don't know if you guys could see it. There's like a little orb that I could see that kind of floated by. Sometimes they show up in videos. Sometimes they don't. So that's an important message for somebody like really embracing that happiness, that enthusiasm, that kind of carefree attitude challenges in your relationship. They're saying, um, so for Aquarius, it's, it's not necessarily to um, commit is the challenge, but it, it's kind of the challenge, right? It's not that you're um, it's not that you're necessarily looking for different relationships or anything like that. It's just like you kind of like your freedom. You don't want to be tied down, bogged down by the responsibilities of a relationship, and that can be a little bit scary for your partner because they might not be the same way unless they're an Aquarius too. They're having a hard. They'd have maybe a hard time understanding what that means that you need, you know, a good amount of time to yourself or with your friends separate from them. No. They're saying alternate challenges um, going along with this is that they're going to have a hard time understanding how this relationship is really going to go anywhere if that's kind of the case, right? So especially if you are in a relationship with somebody who is used to codependent relationships, right? Where they're double checking everything with each other all the time. They know each other's every move. Um, and that's not really your style. So you might be kind of like a totally foreign, different experience for somebody who's been in those types of relationships because to them, they interpret that kind of communication and, you know, spending every second together as an act of love. And so then they might not always feel super loved um, when really you just need your space in order to be more loving. So to have a communication with them about that would be very helpful, although they might not understand. But if you can keep it really heart focused on their feelings, um, they might be able to get on board with that a little bit easier. And um, if you remind them that you are committed to them in terms of like um, sexually, right? Like you're not sleeping around and stuff like that. That would be very, very helpful. I think that's their ultimate fear or concern here. Now, um, what are some things that you could focus on to better your relationship in the month of February? And they're just saying, you know, try not to be bossy, but that's not really your style anyway. They want you to be really cautious of the way that you're communicating, especially because you might not understand those fears that they have. It might come across a little bit bitchy, your response. So if you can try to be super um, emotionally empathetic and connecting to what their concerns are and trying to understand that, even though it's a very foreign concept for most of you, um, you're going to find yourself in a more balanced, healthy place in your relationship uh, looks really good and stable in the month of February. So that's your love reading for couples in February of 2018, and I will see you soon.